What's up guys, so at this point I think we all can agree that your work and time management in engineering is pretty important in terms of you kicking the career set. There are tons of lectures and tutorials out there online thrown at your handsome innocent face but no one will tell you how to use them. So I wanted to help you out in managing your most invaluable asset time between computer science and competitive programming. In this video this is scheduled for each year of your engineering from your current year. Before that I recommend you some resources. Resources which I truly feel will impact your productivity, your coding skills and makes you a better engineer. Resource number one. Competitive Programming 3. It is a competitive programming guide written by Steven and Felix who are ACM ICPC finalists and as well as coaches. There are tons of problems in it with detailed theory and it's a very very well organized book. I really love this book. How do you read it? There's a 13 week lesson plan in the book itself which is the exact same thing followed in the School of Computing at the National University of Singapore. Resource number 2. Cracking the Coding Interview by Gail McDowell. I think I need not say much about this book. This is the best book out there for interview preparation. If you don't know about this book, trust me, go check out some reviews of this book. How do you read it? I'd say follow the index and I think 6 months is a decent time to complete this book. Resource number 3. Before going to number 3, let me tell you about me and why I would suggest you this. I'm the type of guy who doesn't listen to the lectures and keep on thinking about the solutions to the coding problems. So if you're a guy like me, and doesn't care what's happening in the class and do your own thing I'd suggest you this resource number 3 GATE lectures by Ravindra Babu Rawla wait 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 I'm not asking you to prepare for GATE but I'm insisting you to take advantage of the pre-recorded lectures how does it going to benefit you you know the exact time you should spend to learn a topic and you can finish it in a determined time or even in half of the time if you watch the lectures in 2x speed. This course is around 400 hours. If you are in the first year right now and you can spend one hour each day watching those beautiful lectures, you can complete the entire GATE course in 400 days. If you can spend 2 hours a day, you can finish the entire GATE syllabus in 200 days. But yeah, the course is just a bit expensive. If you don't wanna buy it, just listen to your lectures. It's all about managing your time okay let's see how you use those resources and manage your cs and cp if you are a first year student when i say practice from now on it means participating in coding contests like code chefs long contest code forces at coder top coder hacker ranks contests through all these years never stop practicing in your first year start reading competitive programming 3 but instead of 13 weeks take 13 months Solve every problem out there in the book and keep participating in the coding contests. Along with reading the competitive programming book, spend an hour a day on the gate lectures. That means if you have 6-10 minute videos, you will watch it all. And for another half an hour, try taking important points in your notes for revision purposes. When you go to the second year, start reading crack in the coding interview and try to complete it in any year with good understanding. Along with this, start working on your project and try to implement your cool ideas or try contributing to open source projects. But never stop practicing. That's how you spend your second year. Yo, now you are in the fifth semester. Never stop practicing. If you want, feel free to take help from CLRS, Geeks by Geeks and other editorials online. Along with that, continue working on your project or start a new one if you have completed your previous project. That's not it. This is the time you should start preparing for interview. Work on your aptitude, whiteboard coding, core subject knowledge, soft skills, etc. All the best for your placements. This is where things heat up and placements will generally start in this semester. If you have followed this plan and you can be very much confident and be able to crack any coding interview and keep honing your skills more and more. Finally, you're placed in a good company. Congrats, buddy. All the best for your career. Now, if you are given an opportunity to work for the company in your final year itself, learn the technology you're thrown at and become an expert at it. If you're not placed or placed in a small company, don't worry. You will surely deserve a better job because you're smart and you're not going to stop practicing. And whenever you do a project, Keep pushing it to GitHub. The final year schedule pretty much applies to every final year column. So I'm not going to repeat it again. One year passed by real quick and you're in the second year right now. And at this point you'll regret many things and don't want to miss any more opportunities and stop wasting your time. So go and click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to increase your CS and CP ammo. I got ya. Don't worry because... Girl, you still got ya.
if you haven't done anything in the first year that's okay else if you did something that's great but go grab the competitive programming 3 book and complete it in 13 months so along with it do your gate course in 400 days and do a project if you can still find the time start reading crack in the coding interview else if you don't have time anymore save it for the next semester it's good that you started at least in your second year how lucky you are isn't it so why don't you make your friends lucky too share this video to all your friends if you move crack in the coding interview to this semester go complete it in 6 months and along with it start preparing for interviews the time has finally arrived all the very best for your placements <sighs> You have successfully wasted two years, and you cannot afford to waste any more. And you made it to the third year. If you did something in the first two years, then great. Else, not a problem. Here's what you should do: complete competitive programming three in six months, and solve only the start problems. If you have time, solve the remaining problems. Also, keep participating in the coding contests. Start reading crack in the coding interview and try to complete it in this semester itself. Try to do at least one project in addition to your mini and major project to add it to your resume. But at this point, I think you don't need a gate course because, in my opinion, you won't be having time to complete it, so it's a waste of money. Instead, what you can do is you can read only those concepts which are likely to be asked in an interview. The placement season has started. Do your best and get a good job. You are in the fourth year and still not placed or placed but not at a good package. Don't worry. Still, you can do a favor for yourself. Practice. By this time, you have a mini and major project. If you can find some time, try to do another project. Also, I recommend you to still read Crack in the Coding interview. Even if you don't complete the entire book, at least you'll get some idea. And you can continue reading it later when you got some time. Because it's not unworthy to spend time on it. If you still have time, read Competitive Programming book as well. 